myself just briefly that Prophet Sallallahu and all the Prophets of the Divine the Presence are the sun of our life. They are the center of our being and within their hearts is Allah's divinely light. Means that Allah can be found in the heart of the Rasulullah in the hearts of the Prophets. And our whole life is to circumambulate that reality and like the sun of our dunya, the sun of our reality is in the understanding of the greatness of Sayyidina Muhammad and it's for us to understand when we see it in a circular form and we see it like a sun, we know that Allah's divine the presence is blessing the reality and the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad The reality of Sayyidina Muhammad illuminates all of existence. They say that we have a star in our galaxy and they have billions of stars. And they have a star that for the entire universe, a pistol star, that hundreds of billions of more power than our star. Means each chance become bigger and bigger and bigger. It has a reality where Allah will show you the sign upon the horizon and I show you the signs within yourself. Upon the horizon, we see the universe circumambulates the stars. The star is the source of light, is that which is eternal. The planets represent physicality. The moon is a physicality. Shamsi wal Qamar, Shamsi wal Qamar, Shamsi wal Qamar throughout Holy Quran. And we've talked before in the teachings of Insan Akamil, the perfected personality has to do with opening the reality of the sun within ourselves. Well, as a described, see how there's a sun in this universe and all your planets in our galaxy, all our planets are going around that sun. You have within yourself also a sun, which is your heart. And all your organs must be submitting to the heart. But first the heart has to be enlightened and sparked. If that opens and that reality opens within the heart, then you find the perfection of our life and our reality. Because our, our organs and the body, they are like planets. They're waiting and needing a star. They need the sun of our heart. They need the rays of love and light and divinely essence. Without it, and a darkened heart like a universe with no sun, means that every breath comes from the reality of the sun, no photosynthesis. If we have no sun, nothing green, no air and oxygen to breathe. There's Allah just showing, if your heart doesn't have a sun, if your heart not enlightening, and your heart not reaching towards its eternal reality, as if you can't breathe, or like a zombie, walking dead. You can't see, because the sun provides vision for us. It has a, a spectrum in which you can see through your eyes, through that magnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic wave has infinite rays that are coming down. We pull only a small portion of that ray and it gives us eyesight. It gives us vegetation, it gives us our breath. Allah just shows that everything is relying upon that and its power is by Allah no doubt. So some people come, oh, is everything is Allah. We know that, but Allah pours an effect that look at your creation, that it's coming from my qudra. But you need that in your life and for our spirituality and for our soul and for our way of progress, we have to enlighten the heart. And then all the organs will fall in place. They'll be nourished by the power of that sun. They'll breathe and, and flourish with that reality. Then on the way of Marifa, we see the sun of our life is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Sassam, the prophetic reality. That if Prophet Sassam is the center of our being and that we're moving around that ocean, Marifa, Marifa because it has the meme, means the Arifin, they 
they know the reality of the meme means the Muhammadan reality. That our whole existence on this dunya is circumambulating this reality. And we said that if the Hajj is the sacrifice and the purification means that you, you gave everything and made your pilgrimage, Muharram is the Bab al Tawbah. Because we don't want to go into the numbers and why the numbers, but there's a reality in the numbers. But Muharram means no haram and asking Allah that in this year of Marifa, 12 months of journeying Ya Rabbi, let me to journey in the oceans of reality. Then Ati Allah is the center. Ati Rasul is the entire ray of the sun. The Ulul Am remain home, the Ulul Am, there are the ships that are constantly traversing and moving in the orbit of Prophet So everything they teach is going to be based on these rays, based on this understanding, because we are on the circumference. So Baba Tawbah means that we're coming into the Muharram, we we'll make Tawbah, make Istighfar, take away the bad characteristic and ask to enter into the oceans of reality. Then they begin to teach us that that Baba Tawbah is the ninth surah. So immediately they're teaching that you move into the ninth surah. Surah so Tawbah will explain everything in Muharram and you begin to read all of the ayahs of Surah Tawbah and gives a, an amazing understanding of Muharram. And what we wanted to convey is that when this is linear on a piece of paper, people don't see its reality. So when they designed it like the sun, we understand that we're traversing this ocean. So just in the understanding of Muharram, it's ninth and Tawbah, the only surah that has Tawbah is the ninth surah. And no Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem means Bismillah Allahu Akbar. Sacrifice your bad characteristics and destroy the bad characteristics and enter into this ocean and the ray that is coming on that month. Then we put the ninth name of Allah Zawajal, Allah Jabbar. That to understand that if Allah Zawajal's essence is the center, it always dresses Sayyidina Muhammad Sassim before it comes to you. It can't come to you without dressing the prophetic reality. So that we have no way to Allah Zawajal directly. That Allah every emanation is Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum is going out, means the center of that Qudra and that power, Allah always dressing Prophet. So if we want Ismullah to open, any Ismullah to open, you have to know the Isma Rasul that taking that dress. So under that, you see on this diagram, we drew it and put Ismullah Jabbar. And the ninth name of Prophet Sayyidina Aqib. Sayyidina Aqib is the final prophet. And also they say that Aqib is the one who frees from hellfire. Because it has to do with repentance. So it means that it gives us an understanding in the way of Marifat that Ya Rabbi, from the secret of Muharram that opened, Ya Rabbi, Bahaqa Surat al Tawbah, Ya Rabbi, Bahaqa Sifat al Jabbar, Ya Rabbi, Bahaqa Nabi al Aqib, the one who frees from difficulty, Ya Rabbi, grant me. Because by understanding, we understand how to ask Allah Zawajal if we understand that we're in this ocean. The ship is in that ocean in Muharram. Then there is a tajalli in which Allah Zawajal dressed Nur al-Muhammadi when he created the light of Sayyidina Muhammad Means these are 12 hijabs in which Allah Zawajal has eternally dressed the reality of that light. In the month of Muharram, Subhanahu Rabbi al-Ala, that Allah Zawajal is glory to my Lord, the Most High. Because then we know that that's the zikr of that month on Nur al-Muhammad. Then every month the same, that you start from this ninth month, Subhanahu Rabbi al-Ala, Subhanahu Rabbi al-Ala, that to be dressed by this reality, then you see that these only Allah, they speak of 
this reality because they're in that ocean. So they begin to speak from Tawbah, they begin to speak from the reality of these names, from the reality of those surahs, even from the reality of the ayahs of that surah begin to emanate in that month. You go all the way to the second month, it opens the reality because these are now in the power of nine. The second month will be 18. The third month will be 27. Then it has the name of Allah the name of Prophet and the surah that dressing. So in the holy month of Rabbi Al-Awwal, which is then the third. So Prophet Sallallahu Tajali, then the ship is moving into this third ray. You see that that opens the power of 27. The Surah An-Nam. This is then the reality of Sayyidina Suleiman and the mulk of Sayyidina Suleiman. It's not a coincidence that Allah Azawajal on Rabbi Al-Awwal, when we're celebrating Milad al-Nabi Sallallahu the humble Prophet of Allah didn't want his mulk to be known. But Arafin were given the code that, no, that's the 27th surah. And surah, the 27th surah is where you find the hidden Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Inna huwa Suleiman wa inna huwa Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. The whole surah is a description of the mulk and the kingdom in which Allah has given to. Sayyidina Suleiman with not even a draw in the kingdom of Sayyidina Muhammad But because of Prophet humility, didn't want to show that power. Didn't want to show that talk to all the creatures, talk to the birds, the ants and every living thing Sayyidina Suleiman had communication with, had power over the winds, had power over the ifrit, had power over malaika. If again Sayyidina Suleiman has that power, imagine the power that Allah has given to Sayyidina Muhammad Means then in that Mawlid month, we're reading that surah, taking from that dress, taking from that reality, and then reading all of these, these are the rays that are dressing us all the way to the 12th month. And that 12th month, 108th surah is Surah Al-Kawtha that the Arifin and the people of Marifa know that in the month of Hajj, Allah giving them to drink, not only from the Zamzam that people are drinking, but the reality of Zamzam being the Kawthar, which is the rivers of paradise, the, the fountain in paradise. Means that every reality, every ocean that they are traversing is based on one understanding of this sun and making this sun to be the center of our universe means the traversing the reality of Prophet and to be dressed from the lights of the Muhammadiyun and to be dressed by their blessings. And every sun has 12 moons and every moon has a side that you know and a side that you don't know. There are the side in the face of the moon that faces and those are the 12 Khalifas of Sayyidina Muhammad and everyone knows their reality, not knows their reality, knows about them, is what the Sahabi. But every moon has a, a side that's not known. And these are the 12 Imams of the Ahlul Bayt. And they carry the secret of Sayyidina Muhammad family and their responsibility is known by Prophet what they are responsible for. But we pray that Allah grant us a year in which to traverse these realities and to draw nearer and nearer to the light of Sayyidina Muhammad That Allah ordered us that we are doing this to seek the love of Allah Allah says, if you want my love, follow Sayyidina Muhammad I will love you. Because this is the way of divinely love and divinely realities. So, when I begin to open this, I tell my yesipun.
Sidanan Nabi, Sidanan Nabi.